Uh, what a special day it is here at Hope City. Today uh, is not only Mother's Day, we're celebrating mothers, of course. We're glad that, that you guys are here and spending that day with us. But we also have the privilege of celebrating child dedications this morning uh, in service. We have two families that I want to help you, or how have you helped me, welcome to the stage. So we want to welcome the Bennett family and the Hernandez Martinez family. If you guys can make your way on up here. This morning during the first service, we had three other families and about uh, representing seven children this morning. It was a, an exciting day. And as you can tell, we have another exciting service planned here. And so I wanna introduce you to uh, Ariana Bennett. This is Ariana in her beautiful dress. Ariana and I are friends. Uh, we've been friends since she was born. And early on though, I made her cry. And so I, you know, I would kind of not try and hold her to make her cry, but now I think she likes my beard. But that's just because it's like her dad's beard. So, uh, but then I also want to introduce you to uh, Tiago and Sienna, uh, the Hernandez Martinez family. What a privilege it is to stand on this stage with these two families as they're dedicating their children to the Lord. And so here's what's happening this morning during this service. Um, parents, you're dedicating your children to God, and, and it takes two things it takes trust and it takes action. And here at Hope City, we, we wanna partner with you, which is why we're so thankful for Pastor Megan and, and all the work that they do at Hope City Kids. It's such an honor to come alongside of your family from birth all the way through 12th grade with Pastor Brandon and our youth. We're so grateful for you. Here in Hope City Kids, like our prayer is for your family to feel seen and known and loved. We are praying for you, we are cheering you on, and we are just so excited when you come to church and we get the opportunity to pour into your family from the Hope City Kids team. You know, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse six, it says this uh, verse very clearly. It says, start children off on the way they should go, and even when they're old, they won't turn from it. This, this verse highlights uh, for you as parents the importance of guiding your children in the right direction from the very beginning. You set the tone, you set the path uh, for the direction of their lives. But Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 and 7 gives us another challenge. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. That's speaking to you as parents. Saying these commandments that I give to you today are to be on your hearts but then you're to impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. In other words, parents, you guys are setting the pace for your families. You're setting the pace for your children uh, to learn about God and to love his commandments. You not only set them in the direction that they go, but you set the pace at which they go. And so I wanna encourage you to give your kids three things. Give your kids a passion for God. I want you to give your kids a passion for his church, the people around you, but also give your kids a passion for, for people, just people in general, the, God, the people that God has created and in his image that they get to love and, and care for and serve. But this morning, it's not just about the parents on stage. In fact, I wanna turn and look to all of you in the room as well, because um, when we do a child dedication here at Hope City, we're also, as, as a church, committing ourselves to these parents. And that's why we're so passionate about Hope City Kids and Hope City Youth. And so if you call Hope City home, if you serve in Hope City Kids or Hope City Youth or serve on any dream, end of the dream team here, I wanna invite you to stand to your feet as we commit to these parents as well. So if you call this church home, I want you to invite you to stand because we're standing in, in union with these parents. And so parents, as we dedicate your children to the Lord, I wanna invite you to commit to three things. The first thing is to commit to being at church when you're in town. If you're here, be here because your kids will be in a place where they can learn more about Jesus. Commit to family ministry, to youth and kids ministry, because we're partnering with you as you set the foundation. But the last thing I wanna invite you to commit to is to commit to asking for help, okay? Because you're looking around the room and there's people here that one of the things I love about our church is it's multi-generational, multi-ethnic, it's, it's, it's multi-everything. Whatever God can give us, we want all of that. Because there's people that Tiffany and I look at and we're like, how did you do it? How did you raise a, a, a college kid, right? How do you do that? I don't know how to do that. I've not done this yet. Tell me, I need, I need your wisdom. You're not alone. You're not doing this on your own. You have a community of people that are standing beside you. Commit to asking for help. And so I wanna pray over you as you dedicate your children to the Lord. And, and church, I want you to pray alongside of me as we, we, 
we bring these kids before the Lord. So Father God, I thank you for the gift of children. God, thank you for entrusting us uh, with the role of being their parents. And so Father, I pray over these two families. God, I pray for wisdom and guidance and endurance for these parents, endurance for the long haul. God, I pray that their homes would be filled with your presence and with your peace. Father God, strengthen their relationships, strengthen their marriage. God, I pray that you would bless their children with health and joy and a heart that seeks after you. God, may these kids come to know you personally as their Lord and Savior at a young age. And God, would they walk with you closely all the days of their lives. Father, I pray over the people that are standing right now, family, friends, church members, that God, they would um, support and encourage these parents and these kids along the way. God, I pray that Hope City Kids would be a place that encourages their children. God, Hope City Youth would be a place that strengthens their teenagers. God, we dedicate these children to you, trusting in your unfailing love and faithfulness. So God, may your will be done in their life and may they bring glory and honor to your name. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Guys, would you help me honor and thank these parents for the step that they're taking? As they